today's video is absolutely unlike anything I have ever done before on my channel. And I am so excited about it because, well, it's a wig review. Not a wig review. It's me trying out a wig. I'm not reviewing the wig. I'm just trying out the wig and showing it to you guys. Um, I did put it on the other day when it arrived and just kind of messed with it a little bit, but not really. And um, was actually pleasantly surprised by some reactions I got from my family. But I'll save those for you after I have it on and kind of tell you about it. Um, I watch Phoebe Rome is her name on YouTube here. And I'm obsessed with watching her wig reviews. She does she does amazing makeup, by the way. She doesn't do a lot of makeup tutorials. Um, she does them occasionally, but her makeup always looks amazing. And she mostly does wig reviews on her channel. And the girl looks good in like every color, every style, whatever. Like she, uh, and she makes it look so easy to put a wig on and style, you know, all that good stuff. And so since she purchases a lot of wigs and also gets a lot sent to her to review, um, occasionally she will do a sale and sell some of the wigs that she's not using. And so I, a couple months ago, she did one that I was like, almost bought something, but I didn't. And then a few weeks ago, she did another one. And I was like, no, I'm doing this. And the reason being, well, for one, I think it's just fun to be able to switch up your hair that easily. But the main reason being, um, I've never had thick hair. My hair has always been pretty thin. But as I'm getting older and I had a lot of thyroid issues, which I have no thyroid anymore, um, I, you know, have thin hair. And it's something that makes me very self-conscious. And a lot of people say, oh, you're, I think your hair looks nice. You always, well, I have to work really hard to try to make it look nice. Right now it's not. But let me just show you. I'm going to pull all my hair around to the front here. Some of you already know if you're used to my channel. But, um, so this is what I have. These little straggly, I mean, that is literally all my hair. I'm not making it up. And um, you can see it in some videos. I'll see it too, how, just how thin it is up here. It is something I'm very self-conscious about. It affects my self-esteem in some ways because I, I, I just am very aware that it's thin and in certain lighting. Um, and I'm very short. I'm not even five foot one. And so... The majority of people are taller than me so they can see the top of my head and I know when I'm at work and I see in our security cameras I can see the top of my head I'm like oh my gosh it's like horrifying to me how thin my hair is and I realize there are people who have way way thinner hair I, I understand that but it still affects me and it's something that I I know as I get older it's only going to get thinner and so it's like something that I've thought about for a long time um other people in my family also have the same issue um but so not in my direct family though my mom and my sisters, well, my sister who's two years younger than me, her hair isn't super thick, but it's not thin like mine either. And then, but my mom and my youngest sister have very thick hair, like beautiful hair. I'm like, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I have like a cousin who has extremely thin hair like mine. And she and I have both said, we're going to wear wigs. Like we'll help each other and we'll find good wigs. And that's what we're going to do. Right. So when, um, Felicia is her name, I was going to say Phoebe because her channel is Phoebe Rome, but her name is Felicia. When she put up this latest sale, I was like, okay, I'm looking into this. She was so awesome. There were two different wigs that I kind of asked her about and said, you know, which one do you think would be better for me to try and whatever. Well, um, she had her husband look too and ha have him help decide which one he thought would be a better fit for me. And I think they made the perfect choice. So I am super excited about it. And I thought that was really cool that they did that. Um, but so the one I chose is this Motown Tress Deep Part Lace with baby hair. Um, it's called the Let's Lace Wig. And it is in Choco Swirl. Let me show you the little card real quick first. So this is what the card looks like. So for what the wig looks like. And so it tells you on here, um, that it is curling iron safe or up to 400 degrees. So these are things that, you know, you can use, you can use, <laughs> you can kind of style a little bit and things like that if you need to. So, um, inside it has the washing and care instructions and things like that. Now the lace is already cut because she already reviewed it. And so she cuts them and that kind of stuff when she styles them for her reviews. So, um, came in the bag to keep it nice and safe and she was telling me you know tips to make my wig last longer and things like that because it is synthetic um and so I'm gonna go ahead now this is pulling it out of the bag without brushing it or anything but 
Like I said, Choco Swirl is the color. I think it is a very pretty color. So it's the lace here up top that makes a much more natural looking part. Um, it's not a super long one. Now this is an asymmetric kind of a cut and I'm trying to decide, I think I might cut it to make it um, even on both sides. So that's something once I have it on and stuff, you guys can help me figure out. But they, you know, take the, um, this wig is awesome because the color, like the highlight, some wigs that are cheaper won't take like the highlight color around the back too. So that if the wind blows or something and you can see back here, it won't look natural kind of thing. But this one does. And so I think that's awesome. And so inside it has, um, let me show you real quick. I got to turn things. All right. So inside it has two combs, these two combs in the front. And then at the bottom, there is a comb and then it has adjustable draw. <laughs> It has adjustable bra straps to be able to tighten it or loosen it to make it fit your head. So um, I am going to go ahead and brush it out and get it on my head and get it positioned and come back and um, I'm going to see how good I can get it looking natural. And then I'm going to kind of tell you what my family thought about it. You guys, I would love to hear your feedback, get your thoughts on it. And um, yeah, so we'll go from there. Okay, so here it is. And you guys, I can't stop smiling because... I don't know. I feel like it like just makes me look like a better version of me. I, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, but I want to tell you what my husband and my 18 year old son said when they saw it. Um, first I went down and showed my 18 year old. Um, my husband was still at work and I went down and he was like, whoa. And he's like, that looks like real hair. Like, obviously knowing me, you know that I don't have thick hair like that. So it makes it obvious, but he's like, like really looking at it. He's like, no, it looks really good. Like, I, I like it. Like, and the color is good and everything. And I'm like, yay. So I'm like, okay, we'll see. I'm just going to kind of wear it around the house and see when my husband gets home. So he came in, I was in like folding laundry when he got home and he opens the, or like the laundry room door was kind of slightly closed. So he opens it up to say something to me and he goes, whoa. Well, so then he's like, I just keep looking at like whatever. And he's like, I really like that color and he's like um you know whatever so I kept it on and he kept just kind of I kept seeing him sort of look at me and stuff and he's like you know like the more I look at it the more I like it like the more natural it looks to me because at first it is a shock I have very thin hair so I've never looked like I have any kind of like volume like this or anything to my hair obviously and um so he's like no I really think like you can totally pull that off and so I have just been so excited about it. So also too, I can kind of tuck over here, kind of pull this down a little bit if I feel like it's like just too much volume in my face. Um, Cause that is hard for me to get used to. I'm obviously very not used to it. Um, I got a curl right here that's going a little wayward. There we go. Uh, so I have options that way if I want to have it not so in my face. So um, you guys will have to let me know how you like it both ways. Like, do you like it? more out of my face like that. Do you think that it looks natural or do you think it looks better when it's more like just all the way down, that kind of thing. And then, so let me show you the back. So I really like the um, length of it, I think looks really good. And I, it's so weird to me to look and see thickness at the back of my head because that's not something I've ever had. Like, I mean, if my hair, if you see hair in the front, there's nothing in the back. If I have any hair hanging in the back that doesn't look like total straggly mess, it's because all of my hair is back there. So um, that's just something I've never experienced. So to have like so much hair. So as you can see, it is like asymmetric, not a ton, but just a little bit. So that's something I would like to get you guys' opinion on too. Like, do you think I should um, cut this side so that it's more even with this one or do you think that looks good being more asymmetric like that and I just really want to hear what you guys think of it like I want to feel brave enough to wear it out in public um, so it's something that this is something I have thought about doing for years and I was like you know what I paid with tax and shipping or not tax I think it's just shipping um, a little over $20 for this wig from Felicia and so um, she has been so helpful and like giving me tips and things like that. I'm going to get a wig cap because I think that will majorly help me too. Um, let me come up and show you too. Um, 
right now my red hair is kind of sticking out a little but what the scalp looks like now she did put her own foundation or powder kind of on there um but right now with how tan my skin is that actually is a really good match for me um but like very natural looking parting space and that's because of it being a lace front wig and um this one i would like to get one that's a free parting one so it has like a bigger area and you can part it different ways because I've never thought I looked good with a center part, but I would like to try it. So um, if I had one that I could switch over which ways I'm doing it, this perfectly is parted on the side that I naturally part my hair on. So um, that makes it easier for me too because it just feels natural like as far as the bulk of my hair being on this side of my head. Um, but yeah, I, I seriously can't get enough. Like I just keep looking at myself and smiling and being like, I love this. Like I wish my actual hair was this thick, but um, I would even not mind trying one with a little less density because um, I think it would feel more natural to me as far as not having so much bulk just because I'm so not used to it. Um, but yeah, I just, I am so happy with the color of this wig, with the style of it everything so please you guys give me your honest opinion what you think of it and um I feel like this could become a little bit of an addiction <laughs> and um Clara so Clara just started Clara Barrera um who is a dear friend of mine from YouTube here she just recently started getting into wigs and um I am loving watching her find ones that she loves and feels confident in and it just kind of helped give me that push that I've been you know I've been wanting to try one but hadn't jumped for it and um yeah, so you guys let me know what you think. I know I said that like a hundred times, but I'm just blissful over here. So yeah, <laughs> and so I'm going to try out, you know, different things, try to make it look as natural as possible and that kind of stuff. So, okay, I'm just going to go admire myself a little bit and feel re really extra pretty and fancy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And like I said, if you think this is something like, you're like, yeah, I like how you look in that wig. Totally try out some more. Cause I would love to do like a bob set. I used to wear my hair in a bob and I do like it like that, but, um, I just don't want to cut my natural hair. But so if you would like to see me try out some different styles and things like that and colors, whatever, like this might be something I'd really get into and would love to share. And if there's other people who are like me who have thin hair that they're self-conscious about and stuff, I would love to be able to be a help to you as I'm learning, help you learn too. So um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.